It's mesmerizing to watch. And impressive to imagine the confidence needed to work with something so dangerously hot. The, the flame is over 2,000 degrees centigrade. But for glass artist Graham Fowler, sharing his passion is as thrilling for him as it is for us spectators who are blown away by this ancient art form. The most wonderful thing I find is if you're a craftsperson, an artist, is being able to show your work, not being in a gallery or in a retail store. People can come in, they can actually see it being made in front of them, see a demonstration, and then actually come up to the side of the studio and shop if needed. And glass blowing simply cannot be done by a machine, but only by a skilled artisan like Graham. It's been a lifetime's work. I've been glass blowing now, and I'm afraid to say it's over 45 years. GBS Studio is located on the Malahat near Shonkin Lake. And over the past 12 years, Graham has welcomed hundreds of tourists and locals into his working studio. We try and make it so that we're informative. We let people see what's going on, how it's made, and explain the process. Right. Blow by blow. Graham's work can also be seen in local restaurants and hotels, like these blue heron candles that he originally designed for the Airy Resort. I actually treat the glass so that when the light goes through it, from one side, from an open window, you get one color. If the light falls on it, you get a different reflected color. So it can look different throughout the course of the day. This candle is placed on a rock that Graham sources from a local quarry, giving it that true West Coast look. He also makes jewelry, chandeliers, and one-of-a-kind wine glasses. I make a handmade bead for each one, mm -hmm. so they will all be identifiable. And nothing's molded or pressed. So every one I shape independently, so you'll never get two exactly alike. So this is how it works. Once the glass is hot enough, it will liquefy, and then Graham blows through the tube and twists it around to create a glass bubble that he can shape into a vase or a candle holder or a wine glass. And because of the extreme heat, he has to wear protective glasses and use special tools. What are your tools made out of? The tools, because the, the flame is so hot, they're made of carbon. To make this wine glass stem, Graham cuts the glass with the flame, then uses a special tool to shape it. And make sure it's perfectly flat. How much time do you have before the glass will harden? The glass just, as it cools, it becomes more and more stiff, and now that's quite rigid. So there you are. That's amazing. And listen to the sound of hand-blown glass. Cheers. Do you want to bring some light into those dark days of winter? Then you'll have to come to GBS Glass Blowing just off of Shawnigan Lake Road. It's extraordinary to watch Graham work. And then when you wander around the studio and see all these beautiful pieces of art, it truly will light up your life. From the Malahat, I'm Karen Algersma.